My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love, love you, Glamma. Oh, I love you too, Glamma girls. So I'm going to do a little bit of vlogging. I did a little bit of um, filming yesterday. I am in the middle of getting things ready, going shopping and stuff for my son's wedding, which is tomorrow. It's just going to be a really small, simple, outdoorsy wedding on a budget. And so I started making a flower ball for um, the bride, Jemmy. And um, so now I'm going to go buy some flowers to make these two girls each a small flower ball for them to carry. But I already took video of the first flower ball, so I'll be including that in here. But I just thought I would take you along with me to Dollar Tree. And I think we might be going to Walmart. I bought them dresses, so we need to buy them shoes and tights. And I need to get a dress shirt for my son. So yeah. that I have chosen and I'm already at the cash register. I almost forgot to vlog, but I will show you what I have at the cash register. I have that, I bought some candles, and uh, yeah, so I will be going to Walmart now and I will see you in a little bit. And there's my Glamour Girls over there shopping. Say hi, Glamour Girls. Hi. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you at the next stop bought these flowers right here they came separate and then I bought these right here a package of these and I, I've already had some e6000 and so I just made these for their hair so I think it's gonna look good with them holding their flower balls And my idea is that um, they will slip um, their dad's ring down the, down the uh, ribbon here and they'll be holding it. And then when it's time for Danielle to give Daniel Jemmy's ring, she'll just slip it off of here and hand it to him. And the same with Cassidy. When Cassidy is ready to um, hand Jemmy daddy's ring, then she'll just slip it off of her flower ball ribbon and hand it to them. So I'm doing this. I just bought the girls some white dresses too, and I'm gonna doctor those up. But let me go show you their dresses. So I bought them matching white dresses. This is Cassidy's. Hers, whoa, it's, whoa, oh, it just fell. I'll show you Danielle's then. See, it's just a plain white dress, lacy dress, and it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. And I bought them each um, pearl earrings, pearl bracelet, pearl necklace, and I'm going to put pink ribbon around the waist and either make a big bow on the side or it can just be ribbon all the way across and a big bow um, along their um, the back of their waist. So I'll let the girls decide that. And then, like I said, they'll have those pink um, flowers in their hair and they'll be holding the pink... Um, flower ball so I think that'll look awesome you see so here's the pink ribbon and they'll be holding those pink flower balls and uh, yeah and it'll be a nice souvenir for them to keep afterward they can hang the little flower balls in their room and remember daddy and Jemmy's wedding awesome <laughs> all right I'm gonna stop this for now Okay, so I told you that I was making see some um, flower balls for my son's wedding, and this is the one that I made for um, Jemmy, for the bride. And so this is the front of it, this is the back of it. I'm not sure that I want to leave 
these in or not because now it doesn't look like an actual ball. Now it looks kind of, I don't know, weird. So this is what it would look like without. So I think I might take these out, but this is what I have so far. I'll ask her what she thinks, if she wants these to stay in or not. And this is the one that I just finished for Cassidy right here. This is the little one. This one has daisies. So I'm going to make one more of these and I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, I pretty much made the big one the same way that I'm going to show you how to make these, but there's just a little bit of a difference and I'll tell you that here in a minute. I'm going to turn the camera down a little bit so you can see my hands working. But this is what I've got for the uh, little ones. I've got daisies for the little ones, pink and white daisies. I got these at Walmart for, they were two for three something. Jemmy's was the bigger one, the biggest one they have, and that one was three dollars on its own, three something on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera down. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so to make your flower ball, this is what you'll be needing. Either a hot glue gun or E6000, a pair of scissors, wire cutters, depending on what kind of flowers you're using, um, ribbon, a styrofoam ball, and flowers. Fake flowers, or if you're using real flowers, then you're on your own. <laughs> um, I guess you can just stick the stem of the real flowers in here. But on Jemmy's bridal bouquet, I had to use wire cutters because this is wire. I couldn't just pull off all the little flowers individually because that would have taken forever to put each little flower in. So I just put them in like this in clumps, stuck them all the way in like this. Look, I'll just basically do it like that. Okay, but we're not doing that with, I'm saving this for Daniel for the, for like a boutonniere. I'm gonna make him a boutonniere. But anyway, this is what you'll be needing. And let me see, do you need anything else? No, just get the flowers you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a pile of white flowers and pink flowers. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just pulling the flowers off like this and there's enough of a um, little stem there that I can stick it to the ball. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna take all the flowers off and that's pretty much it. I'm probably gonna fast forward through this part. Okay, I think that's probably all the white that I'll be needing for this. I'm not sure. If I need more, I'll do more. But I'm going to, um, I'm gonna put the wire cutters aside because like I said, I don't need those. I'm just sticking this on here. So now I'm gonna make my pile of pink flowers. Okay, so I'm hoping I have enough of the pink. I'm really scared that I don't. Oof. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to start off with the ribbon and I'm going to pause this for a second because I forgot to grab two bobby pins. You'll be needing bobby pins. Okay, I've got the two bobby pins right here and I've got this down right here because I don't want to get my placemat full of E6000. It gets all gunky and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ribbon. And I want the handle to be about this long, like this. It seems kind of long, but when you've got the flowers around it, it actually shortens the flowers. And I'm going to tie a knot also, so that's going to shorten it. Let me see. So yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to cut this at an angle. Like that which I guess I didn't need to do that on this one. This one's gonna be the handle, the wristlet. So now I'm just going to make a knot. Oh, I've got E6000 on my nail, so it's hard to, <laughs> it's hard to grab things. Okay, so just make a knot. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my bobby pin. I'm gonna grab these two tails and move them over to one side like this. And now I'm going to put the bobby pin around it so to kind of hold the tails down. Yeah, like that, see? Okay. Let me get a little bit closer. 
And now just, it doesn't matter where you put this. I'm gonna put it right here since there's a little imperfection and indention. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to make kind of a little bigger of a hole because I wanna tuck this knot in there eventually. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some E6000 in that hole, fill it up. Okay, and then I'm going to push this bobby pin in all the way and leave it in there. And try to get the knot in that hole that you made. Try to get it all the way in there. See, push it in. There you go. And now I am going to put more E6000 to hold it in place. I want to push it in more. Like that. Okay, so there's that. And now I'm going to put some E6000 around it just to keep it in place. All right. Make sure you've got the pretty side, the shiny side of the ribbon facing out and let it dry like that. Just let this dry for a little bit. But while that's drying, I'm going to get another ribbon and make the tail on the other end. I went and got this one because I want to make sure that I'm making the ribbons the right size. Hold on. All right, so now let's get more ribbon and we're going to make the tail. So however long you want your tail to be on the bottom, this is how long mine is on this one. See, I've got about this much tail. And here's the handle. So, and don't, and keep in mind I had already pushed some in there. So, about like that. Yeah. I think I'll cut it about there at an angle. And we're done with the ribbon. And this is drying nicely. Here is what we are creating. I'll put that right there so you can keep looking at it. There we go. Here's the handle, here's the tip. Okay, so now I'm going to fold this in half, pretty side out. And then I'm going to take the other bobby pin and just go like this. And we're going to do the same thing right there. Come straight to the other end and do the same thing, okay? Yeah. Is that in the middle? It's in the middle enough. Fill it up with E6000. You push that in. All the way. And now I'm just going to E6000 around it. To keep it all in. Okay. Push that in more. There we go. And now we're just gonna let that dry and I will pause this and come right back. Okay, so I forgot that I did leave some of the leaves on some of the flowers and I didn't do it for these. So I'm gonna have to do something a little differently. But on some of the flowers like this, um, what you might wanna do is push these up and then cut it right there. So I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. 
So I am going to use wire cutters on a couple of these. So to use wire cutters, just bring it all the way to where the wire cutter part is. Go a little bit beyond where the flower is. Leave a little bit of a stem and then just push and wiggle and it'll come off. Like that. So my hand is kind of red right there from where I've been pushing it down where the handle's been sitting. See right there? My hand's red, it hurts. But hey, you gotta do what y'all gotta do, baby. So I'm gonna do this on a couple of them. So okay, I want to start with a pink flower and leaves. So I'm going to actually push the leaves in there. So what I do is I go ahead and I put some E, I dot some E6000 and wherever I dot that, that's where I put the flower. I push it down or the leaf. Normally, like I said, leave some leaves on some of your flowers so that you don't have to go over it like this. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this in and push this into the hole of the leaves. Okay, so there's that. And then just let it sit, just work carefully. And so what I do is I go all the way down the line and then I go all the way down the line like this and then I start filling each side. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Okay, so now grab your E6000, put a dot there, Put a dot there and put a dot there. I'm gonna grab another pink. I'm gonna grab a white, a pink, and so on. And now I'm just going to fast forward. Okay, so that's pretty much it. See? And now I'm gonna go back around this way. Got this side, this side, and now I'm going to do one side and then the other. And there's going to be less flowers on this one than there was on that one. I'm going to try to uh, do it in a way where you can't see the foam through it. See, you really can't see it. It's pretty much hidden. So yeah, that is how you make a flower ball. Isn't that adorable? You can use these at home for decoration or you can use them for a wedding like we're gonna do. Okay, yay, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Jemmy's, the one that's in the picture here. And these are the girls's, Cassidy and Danielle's. And I'm gonna turn this one that is the same flowers as Jemmy's. I'm gonna scrunch these together and make it into a little boutonniere for Daniel, yeah. watching our glamorous channel.